Testing of reinforcement. Why we need to test reinforcement? What are the available tests for reinforcement? Tail side strength, rebound test, chemical analysis, geometry of the reinforcement, all those will be tested. I am Prasad from Structural Guide. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. You may get the notification on new videos. Why test reinforcement? Construction is done as per the design documents such as drawing and specifications. It is required to make sure the use of material use the it is required to make sure the use material are meeting the design requirement. We do testing to know the specific requirement have been met. Now design and drawings or specifications have given certain requirement for example characteristic yield strength is given in the design document and specification during the construction we have to make sure that strength requirement is meet by the reinforcement bar that are being used for the construction that is the basic idea behind the testing of the reinforcement there are different different type of tests available so we'll discuss each type of these tests in detail. Type of reinforcement test, tensile strength test, rebound test, chemical analysis, geometry of the reinforcement bars. Let's discuss about each these type of test in detail. Tensile strength test. This is most common test we use in the construction. Mostly we do the reinforcement tensile strength test. The tensile strength of the rebar and its yield strength is very important in the design. Rebar should have a characteristic strength assumed in the design. During the construction, the strength of the rebar was checked from the sample taken randomly. One test piece per 30 tons with at least three test pieces per nominal diameter is the sample criteria specified in the BS 4449 2005 but depending on your relevant standard and depending on your specification there may be different criteria for testing of the material tonnage may be vary based on your relevant standard characteristic yield strength of the reinforcement tensile strength of the reinforcement percentage of the elongation and mass per meter all those will be evaluated from these tests pre-bend test the possibility of forming surface cracks in the reinforcements when they are bending is checking this test we reba is bend twist and see whether there are cracks in the surface in the bending test, you bend the reinforcement and you observe visually there are cracks in the reinforcement. The bend, the test piece to an angle of 90 degrees around the metal with diameter not exceeding those specified in the standard. Edge the test piece and then rebend back by at least 20 degrees. The specimen can be accepted, accepted if no sign of fracture or cracks visible. When you do the rebending test, you check the bend. Then if there are no cracks visible or fractures there, we can accept sample or accept the bending test. Chemical analysis. This is the most important test available for the reinforcement bar. This, this is done before the manufacturing and even after the manufacturing after the manufacturing also we, we test this to make sure the expected properties are there in the reinforcement with the chemical analysis we check the compositions of the chemical and we'll check the limitations of these chemicals and also we calculate the carbon equivalent value Carbon, silicon, sulfur, phosphorus, manganese, etc. will be checked in this test. 
rib geometry for the surface geometry of the reinforcement bar. Surface, surface geometry of the reinforcement bar are discussed with referring to the following dimensions or the following measures. Dimension of the ribs, number of ribs, configuration of transverse and longitudinal ribs. Those we have to consider as specified in the standard. The following parameters or following dimensions are considered to specify the rib geometry, rib height, rib spacing, and rib inclination. All those will be considered when specifying the rib. So we have to consider the rib geometry, surface geometry when you testing. So we have to make sure these requirements are met by that particular reinforcement. Rib provide the required bond, the composite action or the bonding between uh, concrete and the reinforcement is improved by the rib. So the rib provide the grip, then rib provide the resistance to slip. Therefore, the, the rib shall be as specified in the standard. With that, we end today discussion. Today we discuss about reinforcement testing. What are the reinforcement testing? Why we test reinforcement? And we meet again from new video. Thank you very much for watching our videos.